Good morning on this beautiful Saturday morning, and I am back with another episode. Can you, can you see me? Yeah, I'm good. And uh, once again, thank y'all for joining in. Thank y'all for all your support, for sharing my videos. Thank y'all for the super thanks, really needed. Thank y'all for the cash outs at dollar sign Big War Two Five One. That's gonna help the channel grow, help me to expand, do some things. I gotta pay some tech guys. I gotta to make you know. I, I got a show that I want to do that includes y'all. It's still gonna be free. I ain't, I ain't charging nothing. Like I said, it's gonna be on the Kevin Samuel format where you call in if you want if you want your face on the screen. We can do that, or we just talk on the phone and you go over your topics or whatever you want to discuss in a respectable way. I won't be insulting anybody. Unless you insult me. And if you insult me, I'm just hanging up. But that takes money, expertise. I got a lot of thoughts and opinions and, and whatever, but I'm not good at the technical stuff, so I got to pay for all that. YouTube not going to pay me to do that. I got to pay for that myself. So if you feel generous, feel like helping the cause grow, I appreciate it. But anyway... This is an email topic from BigWard at MyYahoo.com. It, it was short and simple. And his question was, is flirting cheating? Like, you, you know, you're, you're married or whatever relationship. A lot of people think that cheating is just sex. Having sex with another woman or another man while you're in a relationship or why you're married or whatever. A lot of people think just sexual intercourse is cheating. Cheating goes way deeper than that. First of all, marriage, I, I, I made a, a video not too long ago about the only people that should get married. Only way you should get married is if you are deeply religious, saved, filled with the Holy Ghost, and you're making a commitment to God and you're not going to break that commitment because you are loyal to God. If that's not you, don't get married. Marriage, marriage is a religious-based concept that is sanctioned by the state. You know, you got to have your know, marriage and all that license and all that type of stuff. But I don't think you had to have that back when marriage first started out back in the olden days. During the biblical days, I don't know if you had to have a license and all that. Might be some man that messed up but anyway so unless you get married for those reasons I wouldn't get married knowing what I know now you have to be committed to God not to each other God first then each other and that's why marriage is so easy to just throw away nowadays because they're not getting married on that concept they're getting married on just love and love don't last love is fluctuating so when people get married just for love that's why you see marriages ending like they are. So, and the reason I'm on the biblical part of it because in the Bible, it says, if you lust in your heart after another woman, you still have sinned. In other words, it's, it's just what it, what it says. You ain't got to lay with the woman to sin. If you sit down looking at it like, Damn it, look at it. I want to hit, you know, whatever. Any of that. Desiring a woman is sin. Coveting your neighbor's property, whatever, just want what your neighbor got. Want his, his house, his whatever. That's a sin. Just want it. You ain't got to go steal it or go take it. Just wanting his stuff is a sin. Thou shalt not covet. Get it? So. If you just looking at another woman or another man and desiring that woman or man, even if you don't do nothing, you have sinned. You have committed adultery. You have cheated. So if it's that easy to cheat, imagine all this other superficial stuff we're doing that we don't think is wrong, like flirting. So to answer your question, according to the Bible, yes, flirting is cheating. You're showing attention. Uh, Y'all yeah, know what flirting is to another man or another woman. That should be 
the only flirting you should be doing, you know people flirt with their wives and husbands, right? You can flirt the same way you flirting with that woman or that man, you can flirt with your husband or wife if you feel like flirting. Same way, if you feel like having sex, you can have sex with your wife. You don't have to go get another woman to have sex with when you got a wife. So you don't need to flirt with another woman if you got a wife. Flirt with her like you used to do. Making any sense? Anybody following me? Yes, flirting is cheating if you're in a relationship or married. That's cheating. Talking on the phone with another man or woman, no sex involved, still cheating. Unless it's business or something like that. Y'all know what I mean by talking. At work, your work husband, your work wife, even if y'all ain't sleeping together, y'all extra friendly at work, you feeling her, she feeling you, but since I'm married, I ain't gonna do nothing, but I sure want to cheat. Let me repeat that. You know, a lot of people got these work husbands and work wives, you know, people of the opposite sex that they real close to at work that, that they got an attraction to, but since they married, I ain't gonna do nothing, but I sure want to. So be thinking about it, wish I could, if my wife ever slip up, if my husband ever slip up, I'm going to do it. You still cheating. You might well going to do it. Because you're already guilty of the crime. You're already convicted. Unless, according to the Bible, you believe in Jesus Christ, whatever you forgive, that's got to forgive you, repent, whatever. Now you ain't guilty no more. But I don't, I don't want to get into all that. But according to that the guidelines of the Bible which, which dictate marriage if that's what you believe in if you don't believe in why are you married in the first place if you don't believe in the Bible believe in that why are you married not for love if you married for love you're in trouble flirting is cheating desiring wanting to be with thinking about fantasizing Imagining what it would be like to be with her or him is cheating. If you have any other desire for anyone other than your wife or husband, you're cheating. I don't mean like you look at somebody. I mean you gonna look, you gonna see somebody. We ain't you ain't you got to turn your head and you gonna know damn he look good or she look good. You gotta cut it off right there and that's it. But if you sit down and and, and dwell on it. Boy, look at look at the, his print in them gray sweatpants. Oh, look at how fine she is. Mm, mm, mm. Boy, I bet she. Now you sin it. Now you cheat. When you hit with that, mm, 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 mm. you just cheated, my friend. Crazy, ain't it? That's why I don't get into all that religion stuff, cause everything in there that we ain't supposed to do. We gonna do. It's impossible to not do a lot of that stuff. I ain't got no problem. I don't care about. I, don't, I ain't gonna murder no. I don't want to murder nobody. Stealing all. It's easy for me not to do that stuff because that ain't what I'm about. No way. I ain't a killer or nothing. You know what I mean? But as far as a, a lot of other stuff in there, I hope they don't audit this video because I said the K word. Hey man, these people. I see some of the stuff people post that get away, and then some of the stuff that they flag, it's weird how they do this, but that's neither here nor there. It's their platform. So, flirting is cheating. I hate the burst your bubble, cause I know a lot, the majority of married people and people in relationships probably do it. And thinking it ain't no harm to it. Yes, it is. Cause you never know what that flirting might invite. And you never know how strong your resistance is. You never know if that person you flirting with might take you up on that offer. Cause when you're flirting, you're giving an offer. Whether you want to accept it, admit it or not, you, off, you, you subliminally offering that other person. They might take you up on it and you might not be able to resist. 
Because obviously you're attracted to them and you wouldn't be flirting with them in the first place. So they might buy those wolf tickets you're selling and take you up on your offer. Then what? Uh huh. Flirting is cheating. Get it? Got it? Good. Bye.